and welcome to a picture perfect day in the big city. I'm Russ Mitchell. And I'm Rebecca Jarvis and it has been a very busy 24 hours from the jobs to the Royals. On top of that you have a shuttle launch and now there's Betty Ford news that we want to get to exactly. this morning. Exactly. Get to it right now. Betty Ford is being... Russ, thank you. Two years after the worst recession since World War II, the U.S. economy is still struggling. On Friday, the Labor Department percent. President Obama expressed frustration with the bleak employment picture. Today's who's looking. Here to break down these new numbers and what they mean is Deirdre Bolton of Bloomberg TV. Great to have you with us, Deirdre. Hi, Rebecca. So everyone's characterizing this as a terrible report, but the question is why? What made it such a bad month? There's four culprits, if you want to look at it in that number. So manufacturing grew, but at less than half the pace of what was expected. We also, in prior months, Rebecca, had begun to see some signs of life as far as business, professional services. So we're talking about accountants. We're talking mm -hmm. about lawyers, engineers. They, a few months ago, were actually finding jobs. So they still found jobs this past month, but just, again, at a slower rate. Construction, that's not breaking news, right? The housing market still really is a big drag on the economy. You had almost no jobs growth there. But government, this was really the weak spot. Eighth straight month of declines. You have governments at local levels, state levels, trying to close these budget gaps. Easiest way to do it is to let people go. Yeah, and what we're seeing is 39,000 government jobs were lost in the month of June. That's something we expect to see continue as well. And you bring up the point, a lot of local governments are shutting down in Minnesota, for example, those people can collect unemployment benefits starting this month in July. So you might see them in the, in the new numbers. Yeah, and it's just part of this larger picture. I mean, if you and I are working, we're making less than maybe we had already made a few years ago, we pay less income tax, right? Or the value of our house is less. So we pay less tax on our house. All of that adds up. Right, exactly. And it's, it's less for the communal pie and people need to take more out of it as at the same time. In terms of where we're going, I mean, this is the worst unemployment rate so far this year. Does this mean that the recovery has really stalled? Can we say that yet? I think if there's one thing to take away from this report is the recovery is going to take longer than anybody expected. I mean, you said it's the worst this year. Of, yeah, that's true. Worse, actually, or should... And it's been taking a lot longer than lawmakers would like to see. Obviously, we had one round of stimulus already, and you heard the president talking yesterday, as you bring up, talking about what it's going to take down the road. What do you think Washington ultimately is going to do about all of this? Well, it's hard to say. This is an election year. We're coming into election season, we should say, for President Obama, and it seems like a lot of the powder that they were keeping dry, it's already been used, right? We've seen the Fed intervene twice with two big programs. It's not entirely clear. I mean, the one sort of silver lining in all mm -hmm. this, a place for hope, is actually corporate America. They do have cash on the balance sheets. They do have the money to hire, but it's now a question of confidence. If you're the CEO of a company, Rebecca, and you think you're going to have to lay off people a year or two from now, it's going to make you hesitate before you bring on any new workers. Yeah, those $2 trillion is what we're all hoping corporate America will spend on hiring. Thanks. Deirdre Bolton, as always, thanks for being with us. Thanks. We appreciate it. And coming up in our next half hour, we are going to have a job. Let's go that away. CBS News correspondent and morning news anchor Betty Wynn at the news. Not discuss. too far <laughs> off. Yeah. Far good morning, guys, <laughs> and good morning to you at home. Two U.S. soldiers were killed in Afghanistan this morning after they were shot by an officer of Afghanistan's intelligence agency. CBS News has 10 to 3. Uh, it's 20 minutes past the hour. Lonnie, I'm not going to brawl with you, no. but I think it's safe to say we want a nice forecast for the weekend. We're going to be able to deliver for a great day today. I know Betty was asking for a nice forecast, guys. Much better than yesterday, where some places outside of New York City uh -huh. picked up almost two inches of rain in 55 minutes. Wow. It's pouring. Splash storm. Thank you. Lonnie. Sure. Thanks, Lonnie. Coming up this morning, I'll tell you about a 13-year-old girl who was... Welcome back. We've been telling you about the dismal jobs report that came out yesterday. Yeah. Front page news in many of our newspapers, worries over jobs, feeble job numbers show recovery starting to stall. Well, in our next half hour, we're going to try and help people out with a job summit. Two experts are going to give some much needed advice to help a group of so we all watched as the shuttle launched yesterday oh, for the yeah. final time here yeah. at CBS News. I love that moment where you saw the little boy watching as mm. the shuttle lifted off mm -hmm. into the air. It was a pretty cool moment. But you have seen mm. in your career, Russ, a number well, of you, these Well, things. I've never seen one in person. And the only person here, yeah. I think, who has seen one is Mr. Quinn here. Well, what I, is I that like? Person. I that, worked down at, uh, Feel it? at, at for, for a TV station in Miami, Florida and South Florida. And mm -hmm. yeah, I had a chance to see it. I see two, as a matter of fact. One just in the regular parking lot of the Canal. Uh, National Seashore, which is uh, where just the regular crowd assembles. That actually had a bigger impact on me than going
into it. They get you a little closer. The journalists get yeah. a little closer. Right. But when you're in that crowd, uh, first of all, a lot of people carry signs, and mm -hmm. clearly the astronauts are not going to see them. <laughs> but they've got all the signs wishing them luck. There's a lot of people that uh, that cry during yeah. the whole thing. It's incredibly quiet prior to the whole thing taking off. Just a lot of anticipation. Right. Then the the main engines ignite. Does the ground it's, shake? It's, it's about 14 seconds after the the main engines ignite yeah. that you'll actually feel wow. the sound wow. wave. Like you'll feel it in your chest. Mm -hmm. I don't know if my microphone's vibrating now, <laughs> yeah. but you'll feel that. And uh, then everyone just, then it's just awe. You just watch this thing take off. And it's so funny. Something very sad about this being the last it's time. It's sweet, The space isn't program's it? been incredible. I hope mm -hmm. it continues in, in some way. Never say never. To move along. That is true. true. President Obama said we want to go to Mars, so. The sky is not the limit. <laughs> it's one in New York City. We come to you live. I'm Rebecca Jarvis. And I'm Russ Mitchell. And we are looking at the nation's unemployment picture, which we've been telling you went from bad to worse last month. The jobless rate, it ticked up to 9.2%. Just 18,000 jobs were created in June. That was the fewest number of jobs, mm. Russ, in 19, in rather in nine months on how to find employment. It, it's advice that applies really to all, and there's something to be learned by everyone here, right, and it's coming up in just a few moments. Good information in just a bit. But uh, first this morning, the over to you. And Lonnie, people don't want to miss this next segment coming up. The Early Show Job Summit. Our experts are here to offer advice on how to find work in this very tough job market. It's right here on The Early as we've been telling you, the economy hit another rough patch, so we put together a very special job summit this morning. The unemployment rate is now up to 9.2%. 14.1 million Americans are out of work, so we have asked a group of them to join us here this morning. They are people looking for work, and to help guide them through this very tough job market is John Challenger, CEO of the placement firm Challenger Grand Christmas, and Nicole Williams, Connection Director for LinkedIn. Great to have both of you with us, and thanks so much to all of you for joining us here this morning. We want to first take a show of hands. First of all, how many of you have been out of work for more than six months? Okay, so about half of you. And, and how many of you, by your hands, believe that the market is worse now than it was a year ago? Okay, again, about half of you. How about worse than it was even two years ago when the recession officially or technically ended? What do you think of that, John? Well, it's very reflective of what's going on around the United States. 6.4 million people are now out of work for more than six months, long-term unemployed. 44.5% of the unemployed have been out that long. Nicole? Yeah, it's not surprising. And as you've reported, it's not looking to get any better anytime soon. So, But there is hope. If there people is. do things there the is. way that we are going to help advise them to. Mm -hmm. So Ryan Ashley Reed, you have a question. Take it away. Yes. With Job Summit in just a moment, right here on The Early Show on CBS. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. We are back with our job summit. John Challenger, Nicole Williams here to answer all of your questions. And the next question is from Allison Elders. Take it away. Good morning. Those are some really nice sections, segments over there. Really I, nice. Yeah, I'm, great information. I'm really happy to see those people getting some information they need. And obviously, for the 14.1 million out there that we know are unemployed, we hope you learned something too. Definitely. Coming up later, the royal invasion. The stars are aligned. That's one of my favorite songs, actually. Mm, it is a California, great song. The Mamas and the Papas. <laughs> yeah. Give us a little rundown. Nah, today. you don't want me going there. It'll be yeah. one of your least favorite songs. <laughs> if I go there. We, were, we were just uh, teasing the fact that we've got the segment an, coming up on the Royals. Are yeah. you guys on the whole Royal bandwagon? Is that like... You, Who are you suggesting we fell off? I it? know. But I guess what I'm saying is, I, I know this is it's, it's big news. You're on daily Pippa no. watch. That's, okay. Well, the, the, the Pippa thing I've decided isn't yeah. really working as well without the dress. But regardless of that, oh my goodness, oh, man. Man. Oh, I think the dress there. was fantastic. It but, was but, beautiful. So you think that was it? it what, you, it's not Pippa. It was the dress. It was the dress. I, 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 yeah. I, I, there's something oh. about the way that dress mm. fit her. Uh, okay. that, that but I found there is something. Like the Royals and the Cowboy get I was the gear that they were wearing in Canada. It's pretty cool. Ten gallon hats. It's so cool they're here. I mean, apparently Catherine from the, the word that we're hearing is not starstruck by all this Hollywood yeah. stuff at all. I it's find that interesting. Deal. You know, she's in L.A. and she's not, she doesn't want to, you know, have a connection with Leonardo DiCaprio or something yeah. like that. I guess when your well, mother... You have the prince. get married, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I guess you like hanging out with the queen, you know? <laughs> but they're Period. above partying with the uh, the locals in Hollywood from but what we is hear. But mm -hmm. is that going to be part of their itinerary, whether they're into it or not? I know they're doing the whole polo match stuff, well, they're but... Do, they're yeah, doing something uh, with the British Film Institute, I believe, as well, where they're meeting a lot of stars. But it's a great contrast to Princess Diana. 
yeah. who you know embraced that and was embraced by that's right. right. Hollywood. That's a really Dancing good with point. John Travolta, uh, yeah. all the type of thing. Well, hold on. This is their first trip to California. Let's just wait <laughs> yeah, and right. see after <laughs> they meet with all the stars if you know the cinnamon is still the same. Yeah, yeah exactly. But you know, I have to say they are very outdoorsy people, and that's mm -hmm. something that we're getting uh, to see more and more as we get to know them yeah. better. Uh, they right. hike the halls of Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> we got more royal news it's coming up. It's a big trek. In just a few. <laughs> Don't go away.